Thunder! Thunder! Thundertron! Ho! Alright, so this is Transformers Prime Thundertron, and now Thundertron, as you can see here, is not an Autobot or a Decepticon. He's a space pirate. Now that looks like it's derived more from the Decepticon symbol to me than it is from the Autobot symbol. I don't know. I didn't read that little book, Exodus. So I don't know if he's even a good guy or a bad guy. And honestly, I don't really care that much. Um, I saw some people were looking at Mitt Santona's review and saying that this was mistransformed on there for him and I get why they say that because that's the way they say it's supposed to go technically but you know if you disconnect this you get a little more room to move without having to uh, you know and you've, then you've still got the thickness there if you move it just to the right spots you still got the depth of the lion's chest in there and I like that so I'm going to start transforming mine with a little bit of a disconnect there so that he can do pouncy looking moves and upper aim moves. And I get a strong Voltron vibe from this thing. Definitely feel like somebody watched a little Voltron. Um, I don't know. I know the artist just got um, uh, interviewed by the WTF at TFW folks in a supplemental. So I'm going to link you to that. I'm going to link you to the artist that drew the original concepts. Uh, blog in the thing down there and I can't say his name he's Italian and it's a really really hard to say name for a poor old American boy like me so um, we're just gonna talk about the toy now it was really cool to hear that dude talk about the, the, the stuff he's drawn and will be drawing for Hasbro so I strongly recommend uh, checking out that little podcast supplemental so here we go we're gonna look at Thundertron uh, you know, he's got pretty good articulation here, especially if you leave the front arms a little detached so that you can move him around. Kind of cool. It's not really the kind of toy I typically get into. I'm not much of a beast former guy. don't have a whole bunch of them. But, um, you know, it is Prime, and right now I'm heavy into collecting the Prime stuff. I uh, can't wait for the show to come back. So there he is. There's that mode. Uh, and that's all there is to see here. He's got a tail. He's got legs. That's pretty much it. Let's robot. So, real simply, the legs straighten out and turn around. This thing pulls out of his back. And that unlocks the hips so that they can squeeze in together for a little more humanoid kind of shape there. And turn this foot around. Now, I never, ever, ever leave the foot on, so I'm just going to go ahead and take it off. He's peg-legged. Um, there's no point in having a foot on something that can be peg-legged because peg-legged is kind of cool. And if you're peg-legged, I apologize for thinking that peg leg makes something more awesome. Um, you know, it really shouldn't matter if someone's peg-legged, so, you know, give them your equal respect, whether they're peg-legged or two-legged or whatever. And that's all for my silly soapbox. All right, so lots of little details here on everything. The head and stuff fold down. These have to fold down around his mouth. And just like Mitch Santone, I'm a little bit disappointed that he doesn't have a bitey jaw. But, you know, what you going to do? Anyway, you just fold all that stuff down. Pull his head out a little bit so that you've got some room to manipulate it. And then these guys... I just put them like this for claws, for like shielding over claw shields, claw shields. Now he's got that, now I've got his mech tech weapon and I like, I've come up with a little something I do with it. And a lot of people have been cutting the battery box off and making it where he can just hold the sword, which is a good idea, but for me I like to just take it and I take this rubber band that came in the package. I stick it around here and I wrap it around there and then I bring it back down here and then it stays open so there is and then you can just of course slide that onto his arm or into his hand and now he's got a blade which he can hold now for the other foot I saw this on TFW 2005 I saw somebody tweeting about it and I think this is just brilliant. They've turned this into a parrot. 
and I just turn this into a parrot. I flip this up a little bit and I put the parrot. Hang on. Polly, as someone was calling it, because it's a paw and a parrot. And I just take the little parrot. Let's get you up there. I take the little parrot and I put the little parrot on his shoulder, and now he's very piratey. Uh, so this is cool. Uh, I don't know. I, 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 for the best I can tell, I don't think this guy's supposed to make an appearance on Prime. I think this is just a toy that they made because they could. Which is kind of weird that they're making toys just because they can when they're show characters that haven't been made yet. But I'm not going to complain in this case or in Magnus's case because these two guys are really cool. And good lord, that is a lot of blue. So there you go. Anyway, that is Transformers Prime. He is not Beast Hunters. He is still Robots in Disguise. I also like to take the tail up and loop it up into here because that's kind of what it looked like on the drawing. It looked like he had like a little rope around his waist and if you can get this just right, you can put it in there and it looks like he's got a little tassel coming off his waist. And he looks like he's wearing a tail coat too, which is kind of awesome. You know, he's got tails, tuxedo tails on his, um, his coat, on his pirate coat, which is what all this stuff makes. It's a really clever, inspired design, and I, I really dig it. Um, like I say, Beast Formers isn't normally my first choice of things to go for and buy, but in this case, it's really good. And I don't know. Uh, so far, the Predacons that they're showing for Beast Hunters, I think there's like three different dragons they've shown now, and I don't know... I don't know how into I'm going to be buying a bunch of dragons... I love dragons. I mean, I have, I have like, like lions and Chinese lions and Chinese dragons on stuff all over my room. I, I, I like dragons a lot, but I don't know how into I'm going to be buying a bunch of different dragons from one line. But anyway, that's Transformers Prime, Thundertron. I'm going to get him and Magnus and Wheeljack and Beast Hunters Wheeljack and all these cool toys back in my little display case. And um, I will talk to you guys soon.